Hello guys and welcome to a new video and in today's video finally Zara is using another class So you know that I love ninja for me It's the most fun class in the game but in blackout It's not really that efficient because most of the fights I take are in open areas and there aren't really many buildings around Even the steps aren't silent anymore within 12 meters range I mean I still use it and it's good But I switch a lot with other classes and there are many good options for this map like the smoke bomber the poltergeist the medic and even the spotter is very useful here so I kept trying different different classes and in the end I fell in love with the trickster mainly for the fact that I'm mostly playing either solo or with randoms so the trickster really helps when I find myself surrounded by many enemies which happens a lot by the way I'm gonna tell you what makes the trickster a top class first of all it deploys two decoys to distract and confuse the enemy so it's perfect when you're pushing enemy squads and also when you're the one getting pushed second of all it gives you an insane speed boost once you use it which is extremely helpful in close range fight especially against shotgun players as you become a hard target for them and finally the perk which allows you to hear footsteps much louder including the ninja enemy's footsteps so it helps with your overall awareness and the other thing that I love about it is the cooldown duration which is fast compared to other classes like the poltergeist so anyway as I said it was a really fun game especially mid game there was this long intense fight where enemies kept pushing and dropping on us I also didn't use any loadout gun in this game which made it even more challenging I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay Let's get started. I really wanted to land on construction site especially that it had a helicopter there but I went with my team on this one I've been landing on construction site for the past 10 days yes it's fun but it can be good to land on other places and get familiar with the buildings because you'll find yourself forced to take fights there and when it happens you'll be ready so my teammate killed two players in the start and I ran into the other two as I finished looting so I was ready After that, I went against this 1000 IQ bot with his godly dodges. I mean, look at that dodge. I swear they keep evolving every season. Anyway, our teammate got what he deserved for landing on his own, but we went to revive him. And as we were about to upgrade, we went against the squad that got him killed. Your job is coming. It was a great teamwork from us and I was so happy about number two. You have no idea how hard it is to find a random teammate that knows how to use the ninja class. But this guy knew how to use his hooks and take high ground. So the ninja class was in good hands. Next, we went for the green airdrops and we got ourselves some kinetic shields boosting our health to max. And guess what happens next? Our teammate goes down again. This guy never learns from his mistake, but at the same time, I was happy because he located the enemies for us, which is one of the things that I love about playing with randoms. They save you the time looking for enemies when they get killed. So this is the part with the fun and tense fights. There were so many enemies in that area, it was chaotic. Drop is coming. Enemy eliminated. I noticed these two enemies on the roof, so I moved to the left to block their vision, which allowed me to focus on knocking this one first without risking my life. Oh, but it is. 
A very bad drop shot here because he was on a slope ground, which really messed up his aim. But overall, honestly, I don't think drop shotting is worth it at this range. It's better to just move sideways with hip fire. And just when I thought that the chaos was over, I hear this. Your teammate has been killed. Get the dog tagged and help them return to the battle. And again, it's number four. My guy spent most of the game chilling in the revive flight. And even after that, I was surprised to still see real player names on the kill feed. But that's the best thing about this map. The action goes on to the last second, so we drove around and picked them off one by one. Your job is coming. Enemy vehicle is nearly done for. Enemy eliminated. I really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and if you did, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.